What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today we are talking about the Painted Polish Gilded Garden Party Collection, which is a set of five thermal nail polishes, which means that they change color based on the temperature. If you haven't heard of Painted Polish before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So I've been reviewing them a lot lately and in my last review of them, I did try their Gilded Greens collection and I fell in love with it for two reasons. One, because it was all greens and I love green nail polish, but two, because they all had the same finish, which was this really gorgeous creamy formula that had golden flecks running throughout. And when they sent over this collection of the Gilded Garden Party, I was so excited excited because it was just these really gorgeous bright shades that also had that gilded gold fleck finish. I actually didn't even realize that these were thermals until I started applying them. But yeah, I am just blown away by these, so I'm really excited to share them with you. And I also have some very exciting news about Painted Polish. They have officially given me an affiliate discount code so that you can save money when you order from them. So I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. First, I do want to swatch all of the polishes for you. I'm going to show you just what they look like naturally on my nails. And then I'm also going to show you the color changing effect. Now I am going to use water, a little container of cold water and a little container of hot water, just so you can see that color shift. You don't need to use water in order for the temperature shift to happen on your nails. That's just the easiest way to showcase it in the video. But you'll notice that when your hands are cold or warm, they are going to shift colors like that. So yeah, like I said, let me show you the swatches. Then we can talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, my overall overall thoughts, all that good stuff. So roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using a base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today, of course, it's the Orly Bonder base. So we'll start off with this first shade, Gilded Poppy. And as you can see in its cold state, it's this really intense, vibrant orange shade. Of course, it has the golden metallic flex running throughout. And you can see the first coat actually gave me full coverage in its cold state. It did start warming up as I I was applying it. So I ended up popping on a second coat. I always like to apply my thermals thinking of the warmer shade because it's usually a little bit lighter and I want to make sure it's full opacity for that lighter shade. So usually I'll do three coats, but this one was so opaque. I ended up getting full coverage in two. So let me show you the hot and cold transition. On the left side, I have some warm water and on the right side, I have some cold water. And this one's actually described on the website. The thermal change is supposed to get into a color colorless, but I feel like this is a little bit more exciting than colorless. It almost becomes this like peachy salmon color and it fully covers my visible nail line. So I definitely enjoy that color shift. Next, we have the shade Gilded Greenhouse and this one in its cold state, you can see it's this really vibrant, bright green shade. Again, we have those golden flecks running throughout and this one was a little bit less opaque than the orange shade, but I still managed to get full coverage in two coats, which I thought was really impressive. I definitely enjoyed the opacity of these and I really thought the color was stunning. Again, it started changing a little bit as I was applying it, but mostly it was in its cold state while I was just showing it naturally on the nails. So let me show you what it looks like with the color shift. Again, this one is described as being colorless in its warm state, but I feel like it's just a little bit more nuanced than that. It feels like it's sort of a beige nude color with just a little touch of a cool undertone to it. It. And again, it does cover my visible nail line fully and it looks really gorgeous. So it's really fun when you have longer nails, you can actually create a sort of natural gradient on your nails because the nail that's not touching your skin is naturally going to be a little bit colder. But of course, it also just shifts based on activities you're doing. So even with short nails, mine changed a lot. Next up, we have the shade Gilded Gerbera. And this one is a really pretty teal color when it's in its cold state. Again, we have those gorgeous just golden flecks running throughout. And this one did end up being the most sheer out of all the shades in the collection. So I did end up doing three coats for full coverage, which seems like a lot compared to the other shades, but three is honestly my minimum and usually my standard when it comes to thermal nail polishes. So I don't mind that at all. And you can see at this point, I was warming up a little bit. So it started to shift into its warm state, which again, it's described on the website as being colorless, but I feel like you do get a little 
little hint of the color that it was in these shades and I think that's what's kind of transforming them into their own various nude kind of shades and in this case I found that once I had it in its warm state it was a color that I would describe as a grayish which is a mix between gray and beige so it's a really beautiful shade I love that mix between that very cool toned beigey colorless color and this very tropical kind of teal shade especially with the golden flecks in there it almost feels just like tropical ocean vibes so very fun transition here next we have the shade that I have a feeling is going to be everyone's favorite this one is called gilded pansy and this one is the outlier of the collection because it does not shift into a colorless shade you can see in its cold state it's this really rich purple and there is nothing more regal to me than a purple with gold accents and the golden flecks in here just looks so gorgeous so I absolutely love this just on its own but it does have a pretty unique color shift so in its cold state it's this purple and then in its warm state it actually shifts into a pink color I would almost call it like a an orchid type of shade it's just this deep vibrant rich pink color and I think the combination here is just so stunning I love finding a thermal shade that shifts from a vibrant color into another vibrant color I just feel like that's so unique and fun and honestly at this point I started getting a little cold again because I guess the air conditioner kicked in so I couldn't show as much of that pink as I wanted to but it really is a very vibrant color it was just shifting so fast because it's so temperature sensitive so I was really impressed with this one as well and last but definitely not least we have the shade gilded rose and even though I thought that my favorite was gonna be gilded pansy this one actually ended up being my favorite of the collection in its cold state it's the stunning pink shade again it's this very vibrant fuchsia orchid kind of color we've got the golden flex running throughout and it just looks so beautiful and you can see it was starting to warm up a little bit again these are all super temperature sensitive so it doesn't take any water to change the color of it but it's just based on the temperature of your nail and I just kept on going back and forth between being on the warmer side and being on the colder side but you can see even when I dipped it into the cold water it deepened a lot and then when I dipped it into the warm water it became that colorless shade again which felt like more of a soft rosy nude kind of color and again it did cover up that visible nail line in two coats I do have short nails but I was just really impressed with the opacity especially for being a shade that's described as colorless in its warm state so this one just blew me away I just love a pink thermal and I love that natural gradient that it created so here are all of the shades together I gotta be honest it is so hard to capture what a thermal polish looks like in a screen grab like this so you can kind of see them in various states of being color changing and it was kind of hard to get them all pretty consistent for the screenshot you really kind of need to see them on the nails but you can kind of just get a feel for how different those colorless warm shades ended up looking across the different colors it was really fun and I just love how each shade is so completely different even though they all have that same golden fleck running throughout and they all have that colorless shift it ended up just feeling like such a different vibe for each color so it was really fun really vibrant I can see myself doing some flower nail art with these and just having the color changing throughout the day it would be so fun so those are the gilded garden party swatches and I have to say just overall I am becoming so obsessed with this brand they just have such a good grip on color theory I know I keep on talking about it but I just have to mention it again because I'm so impressed the fact that their collections really focus on color so well either a collection being the same color in a bunch of different finishes or being the same finish in a bunch of different colors or being a gradation of the same color across the spectrum is just so incredible to me and as a person who very much appreciates color and is always very curious about how things would look if they were slightly this way or slightly that way it just makes me appreciate their collections so much but not only that the formulas happen to be really incredible the polishes themselves apply so smoothly it's incredible beginner friendly and they happen to last a really long time on me so just overall very enamored by this brand I'm really loving them I'm hoping you do too because I definitely want to review them more often but yeah this collection is no exception I think they're incredible I think the color change is really impressive and I love all of the colors in both shifts 
And like I said, I just love the gilded finish that they've been doing. It's just one of my favorite types of finishes. So I really love to see that combined with a thermal finish. It's just really fun. So now let's talk about pricing. All of these polishes come in 13.2 milliliter bottles. They do have a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. So application is really easy. These thermals retail for $13 USD, although they do have some different pricing based on the finish of other polishes. And that's all on the Painted Polish website. And like I said, I now have an affiliate discount code for you. So you can use the code Kelly to get 10% off your entire order there. I will link all of that stuff down below. You can check them out if you are interested, but I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of these thermal polishes? What do you think of this gilded finish? And what do you think of the colors that these shades shift into? Leave it all in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed, to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon and my royal astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my cosmic admirals, Rocketman, Starter, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Courtney. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter, Caroline, and Caroline wants to know, if you could wear a wedding dress of any color with absolutely no judgment from the world, what color and style would it be? P.S. I know technically you could wear whatever you want, but in the sense that everyone would see it as a completely normal wedding choice, no preconceived notions that it has to be white, off-white, etc. I love this question because a few years ago I had a question from a fun fact that was what nail color would you want to wear on your wedding day? And I gave a very surprising yet boring answer which is that I am always going to be the person that wants a classic French manicure, even just attending a wedding. I really love just being very classic about it. And even though I'm a very loud and colorful person, I've always envisioned myself wearing a French manicure at my wedding. This is probably a boring answer as well because I also just envision myself wearing white, even though I feel like I'm probably the type of person to wear a more exciting color. And I guess if white wedding dresses wasn't a thing, like the traditional thing, I would probably default to wearing a black dress just because that's the color I wear the most often. But because the white dress as the traditional color exists. That's just what I see for myself. And I think that that to me is very special because I am such a loud and colorful person that the idea of me wearing a French manicure and white nails makes the day feel like it really stands out from any other day because it's not just like my normal, very bright, colorful kind of day. And that's probably not how most people think of it because I think all of the colorful people I know have worn colorful nails or colorful wedding dresses, but I don't know. There's just something about like the classic traditional vibes that I just I think would be very special. So uh, yeah, I, that's what I like. <laughs> but I do love seeing people getting married in very vibrant, exciting colors. I just think that's very much in line with my style. So it always makes me really excited to see that kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know. Just for me, I'm, I'm envisioning basic. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.